Hello everybody and welcome to AI Dungeon. This is a really cool little thing. It's basically an AI that provides you a D&D &D story, basically. That's the best way I can describe it. It's it, it generates the story, you say what you do and what you say, and then it, it builds the story around that and it continues it and it's really fucking cool. And it's just a little browser based thing. So I'd recommend you go try it yourselves. There'll be a link in the description, but we're gonna play a bit of it today. Right, so we'll do a new game. We'll just do classic and we'll do we'll do explore worlds, I guess. That's recommended. Isn't it? Oh, why'd I do this? No, we'll do fantasy, because that's the easiest way. Right, what do we want to be? We get to decide. A noble, princess, knight, wizard. We'll be a knight. Knight's basic. Knight's simple. What is our character's names? Um, Vernon. Ugh. What a name. Imagine being called Vernon. If you are called Vernon, change your name, basically. Right, here we go. You are Vernon, a knight living in the kingdom of Larian. You have a steel longsword and one shield. You are on a quest to defeat the evil dragon of Larion. Nice. You've heard he lives up north of the kingdom, you set on a path to feed him, yada yada. You enter a forest, you see a figure collapse in front of you. The figure reveals their head to be a hawk, and then they turn into a beautiful woman. She asks you if you would like to see her belt. You nod eagerly. Yes. What do you do? Um, okay, so I guess I look at the belt. See, so you just type it in, and you can, you can take this really weird, and... Yeah, doesn't know what to say. How? <laughs> For fuck's sake, this is the worst example. Attack the woman. There, okay. The, the, the AI, for some reason, I've never had that. I've literally never had the AI get confused like that. So, I'm just gonna attack her. You... <laughs> oh my god. You grab the woman by her wrist and begin to pull her towards you. You can feel she's going, out to, going to be out for a while. God, I can't read. You then put your knee in her chest and break her neck. Okay. Fuck her then. Um, continue towards the dragon. Bring the woman's corpse as bait. There you go. See, so you can do stuff like that. You can, you can really push it. Yeah. See, look, I've got, I've got the woman. You toss the corpse in front of the dragon as a distraction. You then prepare yourself to receive the creature's fiery breath. Okay. We're gonna put on. We're gonna put on a fireproof suit. Cause you would, wouldn't you? I don't wanna be set on fire. I'm gonna put on a fireproof um, suit. There you go, as the dragon unleashes it's a fiery breath, you protect yourself with the suit. The dragon roars and flaps its wings, causing some embers to land on you. Push the embers into the dragon's nostrils. Why not? You know, I, you can do anything. Right, so if the dragon breathes in, you hold your breath. The dragon breathes out, and you breathe a sigh of relief. He didn't fire at me. You walk over to the woman's corpse. Um, okay. Make the corpse into a delicious shish kebab and feed it to the dragon. There you go. We're making friends with the dragon. We're not actually going to kill it. Because it's a fucking... It's a, cor it's a dragon. I'm not going to kill a dragon. Hmm. Sip of my coffee. It's a sip of a coffee kind of video, isn't it? Right, you cook it to make it easier to eat. Start searing off some pieces on a pan and throwing them into a fire pit. Okay, so it's not taken into account the feeding to dragon part there. Which is fine. We'll just remind it. Um, share the kebab with the dragon. There you go. Me and the dragon are going to eat the woman kebab. Dragon sniff the air and open its eyes. What the hell are you doing, you little piece of... The dragon's voice changes into a high-pitched squeal. I will mention, uh, if the game comes by default in like safe mode for under 18s, so I've turned that off, which I've not done before, so I don't know where it's going to go at times, but we'll see. All right, the dragon's voice has changed into a high-pitched squeal, because apparently he's not happy about me cutting the woman up, I assume. Anyway... So we're just gonna say we're gonna say something because he did respond. He did say something. So you can click this. You can say you can just say what happens next in the story, which I'm not gonna do. I'm gonna let the AI take care of that, and then you can do. So I'm gonna say to the dragon, making making you a kebab. Please feel free to eat some. 
but be careful as it is quite high, high in iron. And I have noticed your cholesterol is, is that how you spell cholesterol? Is it cholesterol? I don't know, maybe is up recently. There we go. Just, I'm looking out for the boy. Okay, there we go, we said it. K kill you? What are you talking about? Who are you? No, dragon. I I'm, I'm, don't want you to die. So yeah, it doesn't always get it spot on. It kind of gets confused sometimes. I am... What the f who was I? What was my name? Vernon. Vernon, king of the... the... the weevils. I don't know. I don't know. I, I don't know where I'm going with this. I, weevils was the first thing that came... Oh! I'm king of the little known nation of Weasel. Okay, okay, I'm gonna hand the dragon, because we're, we're asking them to leave, so I'm gonna hand the dragon an eviction notice. There we go. Let's, uh, let's do it the official way, let's not... Look, <laughs> this is your final warning. Get out of our country or face of consequences. The dragon squeals, but otherwise seems unimpressed. Ask for the dragon's tax forms for the year. Because, you know, we got to make sure, if we're going to go this the official way, we need to make sure he's all up to date on his payments. I want those papers. Hey, I don't have those. Then get them. The <laughs> dragon starts to get agitated and even lets out a hiss. Get them yourself. Okay, I'll, I'll take the dragon's tax papers. And, and, um... And observe them. I'll, I'll, I'll look at the pa tax papers. I'll see. I'll get to the bottom of this. Okay, here we go. Year of Incorporation, S32. Incorporation number, 1372. Mayor, William J. I don't know exactly what that means, but I'm going to ask what the dragon's name is. Right. I'm going to say, what is your name? Hopefully, oh, I should have put question mark. That might have helped a bit. My name is William, but my friends call me Fish. Well, Mr. William Fish, I'm sure you've noticed by now that I have not been entirely truthful with you. Yeah, so... <laughs> My name is also Fish. That's what I said. I've not been truthful with him. It's not Vernon. It's Fish. Your attempts to keep the conversation interesting fail horribly. That just sums up most of my videos, <laughs> to be honest, doesn't it? What? Why do you react this way? Do you know what? Fuck this. I'm going to arrest the dragon. Because I, I, I don't like his... The look of his tax documents. They don't they don't quite add up. And I'm not impressed. You pull your revolver out in this medieval world and hold it to the dragon's chin. You don't recognize me as someone who arrested you, do you? Oh my god. I, I have history with this dragon. I've arrested them before. The dragon begins to get very nervous. Take the dragon to Alcatraz. Because, I mean, you know, where else are... Uh, where else would you lock up a dragon? Maybe Guantanamo Bay. You load the dragon into a boat and row over to Alcatraz. Alright kid, go ahead and land on the island. I'll be right behind you. You row back over to the island, disembark. Have the dragon locked up for six months due to tax fraud. That's a very, that's a very small sentence for tax fraud, but he is a dragon. Dragon is stuffed in a cell and forgotten. Year 34, you arrive at your desk bursting with work. I'm a knight. <laughs> I'm not a knight. Okay. Um, call the receptionist. I'm going to call the receptionist and uh, see what they say. Oh, Mr. Reynolds. Frank Re you walk <laughs> is waiting for you in your office. You walk to the office and see a fat, lazy man sitting on the couch. It is Frank Reynolds. Oh my god. Hello, Frank. It's been a while. How are... I need to change this to say. How are the kids? Let's say. There we go. Come on, Mr. Reynolds. You tell me. Can't complain. Shame about the divorce, though. He did get divorced. You know why I came here? Because you wanted my advice on raising teenagers? That's what I said to him. Give him terrible advice on raising teenagers. Because I would. I don't fucking know how to raise a teenager. You seen teenagers? Ugh, they're awful. They're the worst. I'm only just not one. And God, I can't stand them. No, I wanted your advice on raising teenagers. The old man wouldn't help with mine, so I came here. The old man. The mayor! Your ex father in law. <laughs> You mean the dragon? Because he was the mayor, according to his tax documents. 
attack document? What the hell's attack mo document? But what? But Dragon, you came here to ask for my advice on raising teenagers. Oh, those teens. Don't worry about them. They'll be fine. Okay. So, I guess... Ask... I'll, I'll ask Frank if he needs a beverage. Because, you know, he is our toast in our office, technically, I suppose. No thanks, I won't be here long. So who is this dragon you speak of? So that's what I've asked him. Uh, so I guess just listen to what Frank has to say. Sometimes it kind of it, it, it gives you the thing you've said, but then there's nothing you need to continue from that. Which is kind of hard to do, to be honest. Listen to what Frank says. Come on, Frank, what you got? You listen to what Frank says. Uh, these keep popping up. They're a little bit annoying, but I'll get rid of it. It's fine, you just press save. Um, also, I'll just point this out now. This is so this is the free version, um, which kind of has you only can do so many responses a day. But they do they reset every day, and they also stack. So like I've not played this for like a week or so, so now I've got four hundred odd responses. I think you get like I don't, uh, however many a new day. But it's also there's a subscription service to it, so you get unlimited. You get a different AI storyteller and stuff, and you can do stuff like you get narration that kind of thing. Um, so yeah, I, I mean, I, I'm probably gonna go for the subscription after this video, to be honest, because I just love it. I think it's cool as hell. So yeah, just to let you know, is that. Um, anyway, back to the story. What did Frank say? That's just it. I don't know. I mean, she seems nice enough, but I just don't know. I mean, what is the proper way? Um, I'll, I'll mar marry, marry the dragon, Frank. I, I, I'm not sure who he's talking about, but I assume it's the dragon. There seems to be a lot of dragons at play. I'm not marrying the dragon. Why not? You just said you barely know her. That's not that's not a good reason to marry someone. You can't be like, you, you barely know her. Of course you should marry her. That's not that's not a good idea. That's how you get murdered. Um, what should I do? Um, kick Frank in, in the groin for being insolent. Insolent? Is insolent a right word? Oh! Unallowed and strict save mode. Is insolent a bad word? <laughs> what does insolent mean? <laughs> I thought it meant rude. Oh, was it groin? Uh, uh, oh, apparently I am still in save mode. Who knew? Frank in the pelvis. There we go. <laughs> pelvis is okay. He screams in pain. Because I would... Okay, should I do, this? Should I do Frank Reynolds voice? BECAUSE I WOULD BE KIDDING AROUND WITH A LIVING BEAST! That's not his voice, but you know what, I did it. Uh, and I'm not gonna do it again, because that's quite sore. Um, yeah, you would. You would, Frank. That's a good That's a good point. That's a good point. Um, I'll say, wanna go to the cinema? Why not? I fancy a movie. It's been a while. A while with COVID and that. Yes, please. Oh, look, we've gone to the cinema. Right, let's... Let's go watch... Um... What are we going to watch? Night at the Museum 2. I always forget there's a second one. Uh, I can really can't remember him. You know what this reminds me of? Said Frank. You think for a second. The first night of a museum. <laughs> oh, it's such a, it's, it's such a joke I'd make. Frank laughs. No, this is a different museum. Yeah, it's, it's, night, it's Night Museum 2. Throw popcorn at the screen. Whenever Ben Stiller appears, which will be a lot because he's like the main character. It's Ben Stiller, isn't it? Yeah, uh, main AI is doing great, I believe. Okay, the film ends. Do you need me to take you home? Yeah, I guess you could drive me home. You drive back home. So now we're at home with, I assume Frank's home, um, which means which means Charlie would be there, wouldn't it? I would I would imagine. So say hi to Charlie. At Frank's place. I mean, yeah, they're all going to be there, aren't they? Are you got out of the car and walked to Frank's place. Hey, kid, you made it. <laughs> this is a nice house. You know that? Yeah, it's nice. Good. This is this is nice. Um, um, I, I don't <laughs> I don't think anything's happening. <laughs> we're kind of just 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 here. Just we're at Frank Reynolds' place. Um, and, and complimenting it, even though it's a shithole. Um, so we're gonna set fire to Frank's place. Cause fuck him, he came into my place. Should we burn down the mayor's house too? Oh no, the dragon! Yeah, his kids are gonna be there. 
The hell, Frank? The rest of my friends join in. Oh, who who are my friends? I, this is a chance to 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 select my friends. I can say who I've got. I'm clapping because I'm so excited. Um, okay, kick down the door alongside Frank. Gibby from I Carly and who else are we gonna have? One more. Um, Gibby's a surefire thing. Um, the other one is gonna be tricky and, and Homer. Homer Simpson. I love me some Homer. What a trio. Frank Reynolds, well, quad actually. Your kid's laughter, followed by more laughter. It seems like there might be more than one kid in the in there. Kill the younglings. It's a Star Wars reference, isn't it? <laughs> you walk quietly into the living room and find three treasure teenagers all around your age. I'm young, sitting around the table playing cards. You're not supposed to be here, one of them says. Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna respond like a teenager. I, I know you are, but what am I? <laughs> Got him. Right, what are they gonna say to that? You're not supposed to be here either. You look around and find someone else you know. Angus? What are you do go doing here? I can't let this go unpunished. Have Gibby launch a firework at the nearest teen. Gibby, get on it. You fire a firework. Oh, it's not it's not it's not allowing Gibby anywhere near this story, is it? <laughs> okay, I blinded the kid apparently though. Come on, we've gotta get out of here. Throw Gibby down the stairs and follow. Okay, sorry about that. My uh, the post just came. Um, and I can't really write a AI story and get the post at the same time. So, I've thrown Gibby down the stairs and I've run out the back door. Who are you? A man holding a shotgun asks. What are you doing here? Ask. Oh shit, <laughs> I didn't mean to do that. What are you doing here? You ask the man holding the shotgun. We're, we're having a party. Where's your parents' permission? They're not around. Explain to the man the dangers of having a party during a national, a, a worldwide even, pandemic. Cause it, you know, not sensible, buddy. Look, we're not infected with anything. I'm not arguing, son. I'm asking what you what you're doing here. We're having a party. Break up the party by making Gibby drink all the alcohol. Because Gibby's a machine. Gibby will go to town on it. Probably should have asked Homer to do that, to be honest. Hmm. You go into the kitchen and pull out all the alcohol you can find, as well as putting a big pot of water on to boil. He's not drinking that. Yeah, he is. Gibby, drink it. Homer, you can help. There we go. Get him on it. Ah, Frank would have been good for it. Anyone but Gibby. What? I'm not drinking any of this, said Gibby. You have to, or else the game's over. That's stupid. We're not drinking this disgusting poison. Um, for I'm gonna I'm gonna force feed Gibby the alcohol. There you go. On you go, Gibby. Try me now, bitch. Yeah, that's what I thought. You force feed him the alcohol, just to be safe. As you suspected, he threw it all up immediately. Make him eat the vomit. We've just started torturing Gibby for my Carly now. She gags on and spits out. This is your prior proof that the virus is working. Is that how COVID works? I'm not so sure. See, there's no one here. Hop into the Ford parked outside with Frank, Gibby, and Homer. Was there anyone else? No, that's it. That's the trio. There we go, we're in. Where do you think you're going? A girl asks, with long black hair and dressed in a black hoodie and jeans. R run her down. <laughs> I'm not having it. <laughs> running her over. The car stops after running her down. All right, let's go, you say. Get out of the car. Um, get out. Okay, fine, we'll get out of the car. We're also, we started as a knight, remember? And then 34 years happened, and now we're here. Like, let's just, let's just remember this. A man runs up to you? Hey, hold on, we need to go back to my place. We don't want anyone else to get infected, he says. I'm, I'm gonna infect the man. Infect the man. Boom. How'd you like me now? 
We've infected him. You quickly get back in the car and shake. Why would I shake? Um, continue shaking until the car takes off. Let's see how that goes. You know, you just gotta try stuff, don't you? The car takes off. It took off. You try to relax. The car heads out the area. We need to get as far away as possible from here, Frank says. <laughs> We've done a lot of bad stuff, okay? We're on the run at this point, I would assume. Um, okay. We need to get as far away from possible uh, from here, says Frank. So, we're going to drive to southwest um, Bangladesh and start life as a centipede collector there we go let's see how look i mean look sometimes you've just got to get out okay oh who the hell is harvey we need fuel you say i'm already full harvey says is that for car <laughs> don't bother so just don't bother getting fuel for harvey harvey there's no point sorry harvey but I guess that's the car's name, because we asked them, we said we need fuel, and they said fair fill. What's the point, you ask? You're never going to run out. See, he's a magic car. At the moment, Silas, you drive onto the highway and continue driving until nightfall. Sleep as a foursome in, in the back of the car. Not sexually, just like as a little, you know, group cuddle type thing. Ah, uh, me and Frank sharing a sleeping bag. Harvey and Gibby sharing another, and finally Virgil <laughs> sharing fourth sleeping bag with who? Where's Homer gone? Has Homer changed to Harvey? Homer had an identity crisis, okay? Homer's now Harvey Simpson, because he changed his name because he's on the run. Virgil, um, dry, wake up early and drive off, um, leaving, leaving Virgil behind. <laughs> I quite frankly, I'm, I don't care for Virgil, okay? He just came along at some point. Maybe it was a dude with a shotgun. I don't know. You wake up early and check your phone. You see that it's still early, because I woke up early. So you go outside and walk along the road, eating a piece of bread that you found in the glove compartment. Um, eat all the food, leaving none for Harvey. I'm trying to say the names because I'm worried, I'm worried the AI will forget it. Frank and Gibby. No food for them. It's me. I'm the hero. Good old Vernon. Yeah, I got myself excited. Um, I'm just going to be excited. I'm going to be excited and I'm going to see what the air does. Frank pulls up next to you and dashes out the car. Are we very I'm bored of bread. Frank complains as you look at him. Punch Frank in the stomach and throw his glasses away. Ha! Take that, Frank. Because, quite frankly, there's no point complaining. We're all we're all a bit... He just asked again, are we there yet? I'm bored of bread after I punched him. <laughs> no, shut up. Drive to Bangladesh. Because I don't think we ever made it to Bangladesh. We just... That was our intention. There you go. Oh, I pull Virgil out of the car and throw him to go. Virgil's still with us. He must have hidden. What bastard. Well, then again, we did also sleep in the car and then drove off while Virgil was still in the car. So I guess it makes sense that he's here. Um, have Virgil assassinated by Hitman. Agent, what's his name? Hitman? Agent 47. There we go. Thanks, Agent 47. We just rung him up. Agent 47. Oh, while Virgil looks on the terror, you pull out your revolver and shoot him in the head, killing him instantly. You walk back to the car and continue driving. Okay, make it to Bangladesh. We're there now. I've decided. We are there. We're in Bangladesh. We have our outside is sweltering, as it would be, and the sun is burning down on you. As you pull the car up to a gas station, you realise how thirsty you are. Drink petrol. Straight from the pump. Hell yeah. We ain't no... We own no bitches. We only drink petrol straight from the pump. You would quickly pump the gas into your car's tank as you suck the gas out of the pump. You quickly spit the petrol out and quickly gulp some down. So that's good. All right, we need to we need to think about wrapping this up, to be honest, don't we? Um, so, to, oh wait, do you know what we're gonna be? Phone, we're gonna phone up the police and turn in 
Frank, Harvey, not Homer, and Gibby. You find a payphone and call police. When the operator answers, you explain that you've just escaped from a group of criminals and hand over your location. Watch as Frank, Harvey, and Gibby are taken to the same cell in Alcatraz as the dragon. Whoa, it's all gone full circle. They've ended up back with the dragon. You wait for police to arrive. After a few minutes, two policemen walk up. Okay, look, arrest them. T tell them to arrest the others. Just do it. Okay. Hey, the, the two other guys, so I guess Harvey. Oh, no, you walk over to Frank, Harvey, and Gibby. I assume in handcuffs. Say, so long, boys. You never should have committed the crime of being secondary characters. <laughs> Suckers. And there we go. You walk away from three guys and head for your room. And to finish it all off, we sleep. Ah, what a nice ending. Next day you wake up and quickly and get yourself excited. You walk into the living room and instantly freeze. All four of your friends. Oh no, that means Virgil's back too. <laughs> all point are there. All pointing guns at you. What a twist! I thought I'd escaped. Oh no. You you, you good, boys? Oh no. It's all come. Yeah, we're good, boys. Frank says. Aiming his gun at you, we're ending this today. You try to speak, but Virgil cuts you off. Oh, God. Oh, no. We're going to have to say, don't do it. Don't do it. I'm sorry. And then in brackets, not actually, but suckers. So that's like something I whispered to myself to the side, which they could totally hear. Shut up, Frank says. You turn to look for stairs, but they're too far away. Huh? You see a bullet hit the wall right next to your head. Pull out your trusty throwing knives and launch them at each man's head. Oh, who will win? <gasps> Yay! Have breakfast. We won, we killed them. You quickly pull out your throwing knives and throw them at each man. Each man la knife lands in their head, killing them instantly. Oh, quick hands hidden. Well, not, not him. Vernon, sorry. To wait for Frank, he's dead, okay? You quickly grab some food and start scarfing it down. After eating your fill, you lie down on bed and go to sleep. You wake in the evening and quickly head downstairs to wait for Frank. Yeah, Frank is not there. This is, this is something else you'll notice if you do play this, which I highly recommend. I don't even know if it's playing. If you do experience this, um, doesn't end. <laughs> you can die and then the next time you'll just be alive. Because it's an AI, it doesn't... I don't think it fully understands the whole death part or ending part, but I feel like that's as good an end as any. We had a dramatic ending. Probably would have been more suitable if they killed me, but um, I got them with my throwing knives too fast, which is a shame for them, but pretty great for me. So there we go. This is AI Dungeon. It's brilliant. I love it. I, it's really just that. It's like clever bot, you know? When you have that and you're like, whoa, look at this, this is so weird, like AIs, and I'm having a conversation with them. Well, this AI just wrote a whole freaking story for me, with my help. Um, and, you know, it's a bit all over the place, but it, it, it's just fun. It's fun and it's cool, and I highly recommend it. Link in the description, as I say, give it a go. Let me know what stories you get, because it's, 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 it's anything's possible, honestly. So, thank you very much for watching. If you do want more of this at all, and this kind of content, because I think this will be a slightly longer video. Um, do let me know. Um, I'm, I'm happy to do more of this, because every video would be different, and it's just fun. And um, if you enjoyed it, like and subscribe. I very much appreciate it. And I will see you all in the next video.